Hi guys, it's currently Sunday the 12th of February 2017 and welcome to week 57 of my weight loss journey. As you all know, last week I started the breakfast trial and the result was better than the previous couple of weeks where I saw a loss of 1.8 pound or 0.8 kilogram and my body mass index went from 62 down to 61.8. If we start off by looking at my calorie consumption for the past week, which you can see in the graph above, the average of this was 2,607 compared to the previous week at 2,689. So I have managed to reduce it slightly, but I'm still well, well, I'm still well within my 2,700 calorie average allowance for the week. Okay, if we move on to my step count, which you can see in the graph above, the average of this is 2,591 compared to the previous week at 3,083. So I have not done as much this week. Uh, I've been sat behind a desk for the majority of the week. My walking has pretty much been inexistent. Okay, so it's that time of the week where we all get to see if I've managed to lose any more weight. So here it is guys, here's my Wayne. I now weigh 210.3 kilograms, which is 463.6 pounds or 33 stone 1.6 pound in my money. This means since last Saturday, I've managed to lose 1.1 kilogram or 2.4 pounds, which is precisely the amount of weight I needed to lose to get back to where I was before the Christmas gain overindulgence, whatever you want to call it, but I'm now lost all of the Christmas weight and I can start to break new ground again. So high five, or is it more of a fist pump now? Fist pump. We've got it moving on. Based on this week's weight loss, it sees my body mass index go from 61.8 down to 61.4. And if we look at my second weight loss target, last week it was 7.3% and now it's 10.7% complete. So in the 57 weeks that I've been doing this journey, I've lost a total of 77.5 pounds or 35.2 kilograms or five stone 7.5 pounds. Next week, I'm going to be reverting back to normal practice of having my cereal in the morning. Uh, the breakfast trial was only enough milkshakes to last me for two weeks. So again, this is going to be very interesting to see what difference going back onto the normal way of doing things has on my next wane. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have thought there would be too much of a difference because the calories in the milkshake is pretty much the same as a bowl of cereal. But there is a lot more protein in the milkshake, obviously. Um, but yeah, so that's it guys. That's the end of this week's video. As always, if you would like to continue hopefully seeing less of me, why don't you subscribe to my channel? so you don't get to miss out on any future videos that I post. I wish you all a fantastic week, and I'll see you all again next Sunday.